Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCB RO Labs. In this video, we'll talk about uh, description of the project file uh, 5, which is uh, a speech recognition system uh, using MATLAB. So, in this project, we have extracted the MFCC features from some of the different uh, nine commands of the recorded speech and then we have created this speech recognition system so if you want the project files of uh, this project uh, then you can contact us at uh, www uh, contact us at jcbrolabs uh, at gmail.com or you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org so let's have a description of the video so in um, in a speech recognition system, what is uh, there are several kind of speech recognition system like speaker identification, command recognition, or uh, sentence recognition. So it is not like a uh, Google, uh, 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 hello Google, or Google speech recognition system which type uh, speech to text converter. No, it is a very uh, basic uh, graduate level uh, small project. So in this what we did, uh, we recorded the nine different commands like hello, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So these eight commands have been recorded and uh, uh, different sound files were recorded for that in order to create, uh, in order to create the data set like this one so each command contain five different sound files so that uh, our database becomes uh, a little large so the usage of this could be like uh, uh, first it could be used to understand the speech recognition basics and then second uh, if we try to connect the hardware along with this then that can be also be done so coming to the description first we created all these data set uh, we recorded these sound files from Microsoft recorder and then first step is to extract the features of it so we extracted this MFCC feature of the MFCC feature of the sound files from this file so this single file uh, extract all the features of the sound files uh, for all these commands all these nine commands so first it read by one uh, files one by one and then it removes silence first of all from uh, that read it sound data and then it divides uh, each sound file into different frames and then we do pre-processing so pre in pre-processing windowing is done and uh, one more thing uh, lifting is also done right so there is a separate file each one have we have created as a uh, as a uh, separate function so in pre-processing is there so uh, emphasis pre-emphasis is also done or windowing is also done in this file okay once uh, that is done now we have extracted the mfcc feature of each frame and then we recorded the MFCC feature of each frame of each sample file of a specific command so that is why it is making a complex data structure and then uh, uh, in order to create the training we are now combining all the features uh, all the extracted features into a single file so that it can be fed into the neural network so you uh, uh, from basic understanding of the neural network or the speech recognition system you understand like for each uh, file they uh, for each training data set there has to be a target data set which uh, represents like uh, uh, which frame corresponds to which target data okay so it is a supervised kind of learning so let's have a little uh, description of it uh, like i said we have eight different uh, nine different commands so overall the out uh, output will be nine so in a target data set we have nine points and so so suppose there is a one frame and if this frame uh, corresponds to command four so command four will be one and all will be zero so this is how we have created uh, this basic target uh, data set structure and once all these things are done then we store the data 
as word underscore mfc dot mat h contains training data and target data as well so single file so we just run this single file and it extracts all the feature and then save them so let's run it in order to test it okay so it will take a little time yeah so if it have a look on the target data so total uh, they are i think uh, 545 sound files are there and it was recorded at 44,100 sample rate so if we do a framing so after removing the silence from them total 717 uh, frames are there so uh, right and for each frame suppose starting some frames belongs to first world so only first row one are there and all other are zeros like we just discussed how we have created this target data set Similarly for word 2, only second row is 1, all other are 0. And similarly for another ones. And if we look at these MFCC features, so there are total 12 MFCC and one log energy feature is there. Okay, So that will be getting in the train data. So it is the combined uh, training data of all the sound files. That means 45 sound files. So in which this is the log energy and all other are the 12 uh, 12 are the uh, mfcc features so once this is done uh, the next step is to train the neural network so once uh, this file extract all the features we go to apps and uh, let's uh, give you some idea about it so we create a feature uh, training neural network in which we select our uh, training data and then target data and then simply let's say we have 101 hidden layers output layers 9 and then next it creates a network and we train it so if uh, we train it multiple times so that this error goes low let's say which is 37 let's retrain it again so sometimes it can get up to so it will be near about 29 or 31 so we'll stop there if it is not going further okay it is up to 29 now we can also plot this plot confusion matrix right so in this <coughs> training and the validation and all kind of confusion matrix is there and if you look at here so still we are getting a more than 50 percent of accuracy that is a crude accuracy right uh, right now we have not done any processing on it so now we uh, this is for the training and once uh, this training is uh, we are satisfied with the network because in order to get the exact uh, word or exact detection we will do some further processing apart from neural network as well we go next and then <coughs> we can uh, go next and we can create a save as a matlab function and then we will use that particular network so in our case we have uh, <coughs> this uh, this is the train network we have used okay already so now next step comes the how the uh, nn is performing so our network has been trained now it is come to the performance part right so for the performance what we are doing uh, whatever all the data uh, sound files were there we are again reading them and then we are fedding them all the same procedure will be followed before fedding them to neural network so once uh, we read sound file one by one we do mfcc feature preprocessing for each and then we fed all the data into the neural network and then we obtain the result right so if we let's say for a file one uh, or uh, okay let's say we try to run this right so in this result one uh, crude output of the nn is there right and then we process uh, that output in order to make it one and zero by maximum likelihood condition okay so let's run it and then we will understand how it is doing okay so it is uh, testing the network uh, so once it is there so in result if we look at the data of the result uh, because last file will be there 
because uh, for the last iteration data will be available to visualize us only so you will like us last data file is being 111 is there in the ninth row so we will calculate number of ones and we will calculate the number of occurrences for which id and correspondingly we will assign to the corresponding word ninth is the eight so that belongs to eight so this is how we have calculated it and then we calculated the accuracy uh, detection accuracy in percentage as well so uh, result percentage is a uh, hundred percent which comes to okay not 200 250 it has to be five uh, because uh, uh, for each data contains five samples okay so in order to be percentage out of five samples how many are being exactly detected that is what we are doing for uh, percent, uh, percentage result and uh, it has been 100% accuracy so you may be wondering <coughs> but uh, this particular algorithm like uh, maximum likelihood condition is making uh, the crude output of the neural network into a solid output okay solid result so now let's uh, we also test as an offline test uh, we will make another file for online testing was we just came to understand like training data and the testing data has to be recorded from the same device right so if we are testing in real time using um, matlab so that may not give you a better result because our training data set was recorded using microphone uh, microsoft recorder so what we'll do in our next video we will record the sound files using matlab as well and then we will test it as matlab as well and we hope in that case accuracy will be fine so this is our offline <coughs> uh, results so in this what we'll do we are reading uh, audio file okay or for offline testing let's say this file was not so there are two files which we have added which were not part of the training data set right so these were the separate files uh, was recorded this hello underscore test and hello underscore test underscore one and these were not the part of the uh, training data set so if we want to test the accuracy of it so our neural network should be um, predict the exact hello word for there as well and you may also listen the word uh, which have been recorded so that uh, you can understand it and then we are doing fun sound is acquired and then we are again doing removing silence framing pre-processing mfcc feature and then we are calculating the output of the neural network and then again we are using the maximum likelihood algorithm to uh, convert the crude output of the neural network in the solid decision and then we are doing it fine and then why uh, finally we are displaying the corresponding word okay so uh, let's say let's try to run it okay so it is hello file yeah so this was a sound file output is also hello so let's change it to something let's say three underscore two so this was or three underscore three file uh, or let's say another sample file of three underscore one So don't confuse with the sound files uh, thinking it is a real time. It is not a real time I am again speaking. Uh, this sound is just to make sure like uh, uh, which sound uh, sample file we are fading to the network. It is a offline method of testing it. Okay. And why we offline method? We have just discussed about it. So let's say test 7. 7. Yep. So it let's say fifth file of this eight word okay so now you may be getting like mm, uh, this particular project file is working fine and it is based for a speaker uh, a speech recognition or we will say a word recognition system or a command recognition system so I hope you understood it a lot and if you want these files then you can contact us at our mail id which is jcbrolabs at gmail.com or you can contact, contact us through from our website which is www.jcbrolabs 
www.ohmdata.org. So that's it for this video. Thank you.